we went to like this amusement park and I was scared for my life and then she just hugged me on that roller coaster and I just felt better. Kyrie Dumas is all smiles as he reflects on the times his big sister journey had his back. Even with four years between them, they're thick as thieves. She's been a great sister over these all these 10 years of my life. Right now, the siblings are separated by screens. Kyrie, home in High Point, Journey in a Charlotte hospital with their mother. Video chats and phone calls have kept them all together the past few weeks. I call her every day, see how she's doing. Journey Dumas is recovering from her first of several surgeries. Last month, the 14-year-old was diagnosed with cardiomyopathy, a disease that makes it harder for the heart to pump blood. A 14-year-old needing a heart? Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Journey's cousin Brandy has stepped in to help out while mom stays at the hospital with Journey. I don't have kids, so all of them are like mine. So I'm here taking care of him, you know, while his mom is away. So it's hard, but family has to stick together. Journey's mom, Rejoice, says they didn't know anything was wrong until after Journey had a bout with COVID-19. Her symptoms didn't go away. After several trips to doctors and emergency rooms, they finally got answers. They referred us to a um, pediatric cardiologist here in Charlotte, where we're currently at. And we seen them, and that's when they told us she would need a heart transplant. Journey has an artificial heart while she waits for a donor, and her family is filling in where they can to keep things going at home. They're all on this journey together, and it's just beginning. It's still kind of hard to believe. Um, but, you know, <laughs> she's my hero. She's, she's kept me strong throughout this process. 